I wouldn't say there is just one challenge, but maybe the current geopolitical situation might be a challenge itself. Unpredictability, it's such a challenge nowadays. Um, we can see great power competition. We can see new actors, uh, terrorists acting in some different manners. Also, uh, technology is evolving and it's changing uh, really fast and uh, international law sometimes cannot just adapt as quick as it moves. So these are all challenges that are going to play a big role in the C uh, CVWC and uh, um, in the way that uh, we should control chemical weapons. I think the uh, international mechanisms, these international treaties should move as the international context also needs it. So we need to adapt this convention. No, I don't think there's a need of amendments, but we should interpret it in other ways. We should use what we have to adapt to the new context. So the verification regime could be really important in, in, in this realm. And uh, new technology again will play a big part. So um, these new weapons, these new chemical weapons arising should be controlled in, in some manner as well. Again, I don't think there is one only actor, but there are so many of them, so many stakeholders that take an important part in the Chemical Weapons Convention. So um, non-state actors are relevant, civil society, industry is key as well to um, protect or achieve the goals of the Chemical Weapons Convention. And states parties, of course, are always there and are to be taken into account for appropriate measures to be taken. There are a few reasons to be hopeful. Sometimes it seems like um, there is no reason to, but um, I think that it's been working pretty well since now. We can see it in Syria that it's not a perfect situation, but we can see some results. So it's a matter of um, keep working on this and uh, we're gonna see other results coming um, not just in Syria, but in enforcing the Chemical Weapons Convention.